After running up and down the state of California, we've hit mountains as far north as Sugar Bowl and as far south as Big Bear. With a recent storm blanketing the Sierras in snow, we find ourselves at Mammoth Mountain for the very first time. Morning, Trout. Welcome back to another episode of season three. It was definitely the coldest it's been all season long. And right up there with one of the coldest nights I've had. I think it got down to around negative six last night. The heater shut off for some reason. My laptop didn't charge. I kind of woke up at like four and I was like kind of confused. Like what the heck is going on? Mammoth has been one of those mountains that I've always sort of dreamed about or had like this whole vision. Um, Banff is another one that I kind of like romanticize about. So I'm really stoked to finally check uh, mammoth out. I came to the main parking lot. I made some a little omelet, potatoes O'Brien, some sausage, some nice coffee. So just chilling out. But well, my plan is to get a nice early start today rather than my traditional 10, 11 o'clock starts. But super stoked. The plan is to ski chair 23 today as much as we can and hopefully not die too much. <laughs> Definitely the most sore today from that crash in Big Bear, even compared to yesterday. Like the sides of both sides of my neck, they're just so sore. I got so much whiplash from when I fell, but we should be good once we once we get moving. Just some muscle aches, nothing, no big deal. But it should be a beautiful day out there. 30, you know, 30 degrees, sunshine. the panorama gondola because I figured it'd be cool just to kind of go all the way up to the top here. Super stoked to be here. It kind of feels a little surreal because I think, like I said earlier, this has been one of those mountains that have kind of, you know, you always hear about it. People hype this mountain up a lot. And so the fact that I'm here on the gondola on a beautiful blooper day, it just like doesn't get any better than that. So just really stoked. Feeling good this morning. <laughs> Thanks, man. What's your name? Thank you. My name's Aldo. Aldo? Yeah, oh, dude. Good to see you. Have fun out there, brother. Oh, it's so soft in here. A little bit gnarly in this section, but... Take your time. Snow is really good. It's always nice to get a visual on the stuff in the bottom too, but Trying to think here a little bit about my approach to this. I think I have a pretty good visual on it, but I, at the same time, I can't see what's on this other side. But just always being calculated here. I mean, I think that one looks pretty safe. Thank <laughs> you. 
nice. Snow is actually really good. And the sun. Oh, what a sick line. Love it. On the 116 still. I've been reading about that area, you know, since I got here. So sometimes I gotta just go for it. I wanna see if this was skiable. I think it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's doable for sure. A little gnarly in the choke. Look at that gap, I gotta split. Thanks, man. Do you know what that's called? That's Philippe's. That's Philippe's. It's just got enough little jig to it where it's, yeah. it's tricky, but yeah. it's so soft in there.
Well, I wanted to try to see that without stopping, but man, it's tough. A lot of times when I do stuff that's a little bit more relatively high risk, I'm gonna say like something like that, I typically do it once and then I'm like, you know, I'm done. I don't test my luck, but for some reason I just, I don't know, I wanted the thrill of jumping again and nothing gets the juices flowing like, like a little gnarly shoot like that. Just stoked, I mean, this area, um, this chair 23 is sick. I mean, there is a lot of cool stuff up here. You get some really long runs um, with like a very good pitch to it, steep pitch. So it's not like you get a little shot and then it mellows out. Like it's, you know, pretty, pretty freaking gnarly. <laughs> After lapping chair 23 for a bit and doing a few things over there, I um, decided to check out the Dragon's Back area, which is another area you guys recommended. So when I first did it, I came over um, the head shoots. Then down to the lift um, and kind of traversed across into the whole area which I was a little confused about because it just felt like felt like almost like I was going out of bounds but now that I see the map here it seems like you can really work that whole face all the way down to the rope line so I might try to go all the way down to like the dragon's tail over there and do some tree stuff because the snow is really good over there so kind of like the afternoon part of the day I'm gonna spend some time over here um, but so far that I just I'm really really amazed by the snow quality here uh, especially when you get into the more covered areas, it's uh, it's just really, really nice. This reminds me of like Indicator at Jupiter. Pow pow. Oh, some fresh snow. Oh. Might be a bad sign. What's up? It's like a random dude just like in the woods. Freak the shit out of me. My first reaction is just to say what's up. I think that's good. It's actually a lot of fun in there. Tree skiing. It's nice to get like the steeps almost like above glades and then some more tree skiing. Am I out of bounds? What the heck?
That required some quick thinking. Fresh snow. This is usually a bad sign. <laughs> coming through, coming through. Whoa! Oh, oh it's a bad sign, because there's the lift. Who's a dumbass? I'm a dumbass. <laughs> Looks like the Elks took a small hit right here. It's nothing bad at all. It's not even down to the core, but honestly nothing bad. And I'm gonna take these two uh, coal sports when I get back to Utah, let them dial them up a little bit because we probably have about, I don't know, 10, 15 days on these boards now. But I think I remember when I did this one, it was in that rock field. Um, there's a lot of sharks everywhere. But again, like I said, not bad at all. Not even down to the, the core, just a nice little, Nice little battle scar. I feel like that was the first mountain in a while where I like really felt the magnitude of where I was at. I will say Mammoth is probably one of my top five mountains I've ever been to. Uh, Mammoth was absolutely sick. I think the terrain off chair 23 is, is really, really gnarly. Um, and I think the biggest thing is it just felt like no matter where I skied, there was like something fun or like unique or or something i never really felt like at any point on the mountain and grand is only is only there for one day um i just never really felt like i got caught somewhere where like it wasn't fun or like you made a wrong turn and like now you're on some long cat track like it just kind of felt like the whole mountain was like weirdly connected as like one big playground if that makes sense i don't know it's just super super fun and in my opinion it's the best resort i've been to in california and i think the next thing i want to do is chase a storm down here in mammoth um some of those areas just seem like they would be unreal when they open up with some pow so this was a was a, a really sick day um and i just feel like i barely scratched the surface here with one day of riding <laughs> dinner tonight I'm rocking some tacos but I made them out of ground bison tonight instead of turkey or beef so should be a nice change but the bigger talk of the town talk of the evening is my laptop has been just restarting basically crashing whenever I go to I'm trying to render out the 360 footage and it just like is not having it so looking some stuff up online like I'm trying to free up some disc, disc space for now so i've been waiting like an hour it's got 28 minutes left and then i'm gonna try again but i'm a little bit afraid that my computer might be crap in the bed so this might be uh kind of a big development here for the night but hopefully i can offload some of this and then try the render out after. <laughs> 